I joined the Losers Club spring of 2006. Sarah tells me if I want to be a good kisser, I have to make out with the wall. I laugh and tell her that's weird. But she tells me everyone's doing it, so I give in and I kiss the wall for five seconds. It was only five seconds, I swear. The next day, I sit at the lunch table in the courtyard, and all the boys laugh because they heard I liked making out with walls. <laughs> I cry all the time. I hang out with older kids because I think it's the only way out of the Losers Club. I could have guessed they were just using me for my beach house and the boat that floats in my backyard. My dad's not home alone. Lot. So I invite Aaron and Aubrey over, who bring all the beachside boys over. I don't mind. But us girls go into the room to change into our bathing suits, and Aaron takes pictures of me without my knowing. The next day, naturally, all the upperclassmen have a picture of me and my non-existent boobs. In my middle school days, I know one thing for sure. I'm a fucking loser. My eyes are too big, my lips are too fat. I adopt the nickname Fish. I get kicked off the lunch table for being ugly and flat-chested. So I go sob in the, in the bathroom, and after I go sit outside with all the honors kids that think cursing is wrong, I mean, fuck me, right? <laughs> after a while, I meet Brooke, an eighth grader who got held back. So naturally, we become friends and eat hot Cheetos in the corner by ourselves. When she skips school, I go eat lunch with Miss Jackson in her classroom. She reads me Bukowski. Life sucks. I move around a lot. I can never have stable friends. I write in my diary about how desperately alone I am in the world and how none of the boys I have crushes on like me back. Eventually, I give up everything, theater and writing, because I just want to be cool and all the cool kids do around here are have affairs with teachers and get drunk. Eventually, I give Sorry. Looking back on it all, my professors tell me stories like these are gifts to a poet. The night spent crying, the day spent chasing things that didn't want to be caught. The things I did that I really didn't want to do. The fact that my best friend was my pen and my paper my lover. It all meant something, didn't it? And I guess they're right. Being in the Losers Club never felt so right until I moved to the village. Now, on Facebook and Instagram, I see all those girls from back in the day who used to bully me. They're sorority girls now. They post pictures with all their Zeta sisters and all their parties, and they get 300 likes and 40 comments, and sometimes I feel like I can hardly get 10 people to read my poems, let alone like them. I'm a loser, right? For caring about my words more than my popularity. But you know what? They'll look back someday when they're sitting at their desk jobs or at their house that's located in the same old nothing town they grew up in, planning their next vacation to New York City. But I'm already here at Cornelia Street Cafe remembering all, right. all my words and all my feelings, and I have you guys listening to me. It's not 300 likes on a pointless picture, but it's genuine people listening to my words. I chose so delic delicately for you. So yeah, I'm okay with being a loser. I'm living, I mean I'm really living, and I'm an artist doing what I love, and I actually wonder if anyone not living in New York is actually living, or if everyone here is just a loser like us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>